If b squared minus b cubed is equal to 80, then what is the value of b? To solve this problem, we need to rewrite the equation in a form that uses the sum of cubes identity as well as the conjugate identity. Let's break it down a step by step together. First, we write this equation as follows. b squared minus b cubed minus 80 is equal to 0. Now, we write this equation as b squared minus b cubed minus 16 minus 64 is equal to 0. In the next step, we write the numbers 16 and 64 as powers of 4. So we get b squared minus b cubed minus 4 squared minus 4 cubed is equal to 0. Now, we write the equation as follows. b squared minus 4 squared minus b cubed plus 4 cubed is equal to 0. According to the conjugate identity, a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b. Also, according to the sum of cubes identity, a cubed plus b cubed equals a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. Now we will write the equation as follows. b plus 4 times b minus 4 minus b plus 4 times b squared minus 4b plus 16 is equal to 0. Alright, we factor out the expression b plus 4 and it becomes b plus 4 times b minus 4 minus b squared minus 4b plus 16 equals 0. Now, we simplify the expression inside the brackets and it becomes b plus 4 times b minus 4 minus b squared plus 4b minus 16 is equal to 0. And it simplifies further to b plus 4 times negative b squared plus 5b minus 20 is equal to 0. Now, we set b plus 4 equal to 0. So the first answer equals negative 4. And we set negative b squared plus 5b minus 20 equals 0. To find b from this equation, first we multiply the equation by negative 1. So it becomes b squared minus 5b plus 20 is equal to 0. In a quadratic equation, delta is found using the following formula. Delta equals b squared minus 4 times a times c. So delta for this expression is equal to negative 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 20, which equals negative 55. Since delta is less than zero, this equation has no real solution. So we need to look for complex solutions. And x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of delta divided by 2a. So in this expression, b is equal to negative of negative 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 55 divided by 2 times 1. This expression can be written as b is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of 55 times i over 2. Now, the second solution is equal to 5 plus the square root of 55 times i over 2. And the third solution is equal to 5 minus the square root of 55 times i over 2. If this video was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and leave a comment. And to see more math videos, subscribe to the channel.